Hi guys, so let's talk Daniel Smith watercolours and how to customise your own palette. So about a year ago I got the Daniel Smith swatch cards, which I've talked about before, and I swatched them all out. And here we have the, those swatches. And one of the things that you find when you swatch them is, well, a love for all the colours and then also being completely overwhelmed. Where will I start? How do I figure out, you know, there's 18 yellows here. How do I figure out which yellow is for me? So um, it's a little bit of a daunting task, but over the last year I have swatched and swatched and swatched. I have swatches everywhere and I've condensed it to my top 12 picks and just just to start a palette these are some of my favorite top 12 Mayan red which I found is a really lovely strawberry red we have pyrrole orange which goes to a beautiful peach color lemon yellow is just a great uh, cool yellow and then fuchsia was one of the very first ones that I bought and I don't know if you can see here but it sparkles so beautifully it's like a mint color then we have cobalt teal which is a great color and I think a lot of people also have this in the schminker uh, cobalt turquoise ultramarine violet indigo manganese phthalo green yellow shade which is my favorite green then green gold I think just um, deepens the palette gives it a little versatility and then you've got opera rose and Sugalite, which also was one of my first purchases, and the sparkle on that is beautiful. So that would be a 12 that I think would be a really nice palette to start with. Here's some ways that you could customise the palette as well. So you could put iridescent jade, so you would get a really shiny green gold there. You could do that. Um, and these are just, um, obviously, I mean, you can customize it any way you like, but these are just some ideas um, of me working with these colors for the last year. So here's Pearl White. That was actually my first purchase, and I had heard about Daniel Smith all over the blogosphere, and um, I didn't actually click and connect with it until I found the Pearl White, and then I was like, oh, I need that color. And then after that, I bought Fuchsite and... Sugalite and, I, and a couple of browns and I hadn't really bought anything else for pretty much a year. Um, if you're a person who loves New Gamboge and Quinacridone Gold, you could pop those in right there. Um, if you really need an... Um, actually, um, what I would probably do is keep the... Keep those and then add uh, Italian deep ochre and pearl white and so that would be a really nice palette to start with um, also the cobalt teal could be replaced with the sleeping beauty turquoise uh, the manganese could be replaced with if you want to stick with like genuine pigments so straight from the earth, nothing synthetic. You've got the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, uh, Lapis Lazuli, and then you've got Kyanite, which sparkles really lovely too. Let me see. If... Yeah, so you've got that there. Um, and so then if you're thinking, you know, you might want to upgrade from 12 colours to a 24 colour palette, um, this is kind of what I have come up with and part of the reason um, for that for these the, the color choice is this half of the palette is just colors that I absolutely adore and this half of the palette would be for more like beginning a floral um, botanical sort of palette so some other ways you could customize this palette you could put 
iridescent gold in there which is beautiful um, again you could put the Sleeping Beauty Lapis Lazuli and then Kyanite so um, branching out from the 12 or the 24 color palette these are my top 60 uh, colors and I've basically organized them into 12 um, color sheets so we have the blues which I love and so basically if you swap the, these two you'll end up with these would all be genuine and these would all be I think able to be purchased in the five mil tubes which are these little little tiny tubes so if they're really handy um, otherwise you can grab the so that's the difference 5 mil or 15 mil um, so this is my top picks for the blues and one of the things that I love about the Sleeping Beauty turquoise I'm not sure if you can see it here but it it dries with like a matte glaze over it it's really beautiful and I really like it in a very soft soft glaze so that's the same color in the in a really strong uh, concentration and then I barely had any left on the dot sheet and I did this and then I was like oh I love that color it goes sort of to a powdery blue so these uh, could be my picks for purples now I've only I've put a heart next to the ones that I really love the most um, and you can see that see that sparkle in the amethyst and the super light really pretty these would be my picks for really so the yellows you've got the cool yellow which is lemon yellow Aurelian yellow which is a warmer yellow Indian yellow is warmer and then the Nicoloso yellow starts to go to sort of a burnt yellow then you've got um, my three favorite oranges are Pirol, Peroni and the organic vermilion and then the quinacridone corals also are very pretty peachy peachy red kind of color and then also um, to pair that with this is the Schmincke Vermilion Light, which is one of my favorites. And the Quinacridone Red, I would actually replace that with the Raspberry Red in the Schmincke. Um, actually, just letting you know here too, the Schmincke Violet uh, versus the Carbazzoli Violet. So I've got the Schmincke Violet in my palette. Um, and then the thing I like about doing the swatches on these these sort of larger swatches versus when I first did them on these smaller swatches is that you can kind of start to see a little bit more how they would perform on large washes on a painting. So one of the things I loved about the way that these bloomed like this lapis lazuli is so lovely down here how it's got the that really beautiful bloom in it. Um, but so then my uh, top greens would be these and again not all greens my favorites are probably permanent green thalo green yellow shade and um, actually these two are uh, reversed that's cobalt green pale and that's king and green turquoise um, yeah that's those and then the browns that would be my pick would be the I really like the Verona gold ochre is a really pale warm ochre the French ochre is more of like a caramel you've got the um, Italian deep ochre environmentally friendly uh, yellow iron oxide roasted French ochre is really nice and then the fired gold ochre actually similar to the Sleeping Beauty turquoise it it finishes and I can't get it to show on camera but it finishes with like a matte glaze which is really pretty um, so that's those and then here are some swatches for the uh, duo crones and these are so lovely duo chrome iridescent and interference they are so 
just so you can see those. Um, and so since it can get quite expensive, I just wanted to share with you also a way that my sister and I have found that's kind of budget friendly to um, acquire uh, these paints. So we basically set aside, whenever there's $25, it might be, you know, a week, every two weeks, every four weeks, uh, $25 is kind of our limit and then we get as many um, paints as we can for that. So sometimes it goes a little bit over. So like, for example, here's a selection of blues. So they're $5.95 each, so that's about 30. And then sometimes it goes a little under, so I think the next time I just got this one tube of Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, which was $18 on Jerry's Artorama. Um, so you can see the difference in size there. So, um, and then they start to accrue pretty quickly. I mean, you know, it's we've been collecting sort of the last year. Um, and we're not quite there yet. But the good thing about these is that you can share them. Again, like with the tubes, you can just um, squeeze some into your palette. You can get, uh, you know, someone else can use them in their palette. So it becomes really handy like that. So... Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, please ask me in the comments. And thanks very much for watching. Bye, guys.